Hey everybody, welcome to part two of my video series on my 3M traffic light project. If you haven't seen part one, I'll go ahead and put the link on the screen for you to go ahead and check that out. So in part one, I left off talking about an electrical problem that I found with the traffic light where there was some voltage on the housings themselves. Um, that's a shock hazard for anybody that would end up touching it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to troubleshoot that and if we can find what's wrong with it, we're going to fix it. All right, to start off, we're going to troubleshoot this by just tracing our wiring into the traffic light. Um, it runs down through and underneath of this tray and then goes up into the light. So we're going to follow that in there and see if we can find any problems with the wiring. Okay, so there's this plastic cover right here. We're going to pull that off and see if we can get some more visibility. All right, so you can see we can follow the wiring down um, to where it goes up into the traffic light. First thing I see is where they had stripped off the, the outer jacket of the wiring quite a ways back from where it goes up into the light. So that leaves the conductors a little bit vulnerable to, to rubbing on these edges right here. It's hard to tell, but I can see that the black wire has um, the insulation rubbed off of it. So most likely that was uh, contacting the side of the housing here whenever we had power on it. And since the housings aren't grounded, like I mentioned in the first video, that voltage was just present right there on the housings because there was no path to ground. I'd like to get a better look at that. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and access the terminal strip that would be in the housing. Um, that's accessible from the front. So let's go ahead and get over there. All right, so inside you can see the terminal strip that I was talking about earlier, and then where the additional wiring runs up to each housing above this. I wanna go ahead and pull some of this wiring back through so we can get a better look. I don't know if you can make it out, but you can definitely see where it's rubbed through. I'll try to get a better picture of that. You can also see the ground wire wasn't uh, or green. I don't know if it's actually used for ground, but we're going to use it for ground. It was never terminated. So uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to pull these wires out completely, strip it back past where that insulation is damaged, re-terminate some new uh, connectors on the end, and put it back together. All right, so I got the wiring hooked back up. Um, I didn't video it, but uh, I'll talk about it a little bit as far as the grounding solution. Um, you can see that I have the green wire here coming in and it's terminating to the part of the housing right here. And um, I also have it running up to each individual housing above that. And the reason I'm doing that is because you don't get a good enough connection between the housings through the bolts themselves. So there wasn't a good enough continuity between each housing 
based on just that alone. So I felt the need to run uh, a ground wire daisy chained to uh, each individual housing to make sure this is safe. Like I said before, these weren't grounded whenever they were in use, um, but the reason I'm doing it is because this is more of a decorative piece. Uh, it's gonna be low enough where people could touch it. So I wanna make sure that there's no issues where there would be voltage on the housing again like there was earlier. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and put it the rest of the way back together and turn it on and see how it looks. All right, guys, real quick before we actually plug this thing in, I just wanted to show you um, verifying the ground connection. So I got one lead of my meter over in the plug in there, and I'm going to put the other lead in the top of the uh, mounting here. You can see that I have 0 0.6 ohms. And so that's, that means we have good continuity all the way down through. The wiring goes all the way through the bottom of the light up through and each of those daisy chain connections I made up into this top housing right here. So the whole thing is grounded properly uh, and should be safe to have near where people can touch it. All right, so I think we're ready to plug it in. All right, so it looks like it's working pretty well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check it with a meter here. I'm probably not gonna do it on video, but I'm gonna check it again to make sure there's no voltage on the housing. But since we know that the grounding is good on there, I think if we had a, an issue with that still that we would have tripped a breaker. So um, so everything looks like it's good to go. I think um, I'm going to move on now to the next video. will probably be about either mounting or sequencing. I haven't decided what I'm going to do first yet. So far this has been a pretty fun project. I hope you've enjoyed the videos. Um, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching.